Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Valentine's Day dessert idea. For this one, we're gonna start with some red paper, a ruler, and a mechanical pencil. And I'm just gonna mark one stripe out of this. So I'm just gonna cut that much. Once I cut that much, I'm going to cut the same, but uh, you know, two squares out of that. Once I have those squares, I'm just going to be using one to make a triangle. And this is how I make it. It's pretty simple. And then the other one is going to be folded in half. And then I'm just going to cut that part on the top right there, the back part, like that. It's pretty simple. And then you just open it and you have that. And that is going to be like for the arrow part. And then I'm just going to be taking a barbecue stick. The thinner you can, you know, find them and the better because I think it's going to be cuter. But I'm going to be using one of those round sticky label things. And you can use a tape. It doesn't have to be this one. But I'm just going to stick the uh, back part of that onto my barbecue stick but just this one like not the triangle just yet and then we're going to be working on the strawberries themselves now for the strawberry parts or the hard part i'm going to be taking like the best looking strawberries that i can find i'm going to be removing the green part be cutting the uh, strawberry on half and then i'm just going to be removing that to make this pointy because it's going to be like a hard shape from this one i got inspired from an idea that i saw all over the place actually and it's like a heart made out of strawberries and chocolate but i, I wanted to try it and add my own twist to it and then just going to be uh, finishing all my strawberries like that i'm going to insert for lack of a better word my barbecue stick to both strawberries and i think it looks cuter if you do this with a bit of an angle but that's kind of like a personal preference you can just close this now by just cutting like kind of like two thirds of like those round label things and then just sticking that on like the pending triangle part the strawberries are not going to be moving all over the place because of the like, barbecue stick and this is what i saw all over the place this is how they did it just with the toothpick this is another option and I'm just going to place them on top of the napkin just in case there is more water because we did the barbecue stick and we cutted them and all that stuff. Just to remove the excess of water for the next step, which is the chocolate. For that, I'm going to be working with a plate and wax paper. I'm using like chocolate chips and I'm just covering the top part of this with my spoon. And then I'm just going to be adding some chopped nuts on top. This is pretty much optional and up to you, but I just love the combo of strawberry, chocolate, and nuts. It's my fave thing to eat. If you're allergic to that, you can use almonds, chia seeds, even sprinkles, anything that you have in hand. And you can cover the whole, you know, strawberry in chocolate, and this is how you would remove it from the wax paper. Here is bristling some chocolate with my spoon all over the top of the heart. And then I added some nuts on top, but I found another way to do this using some tip lines piping bags. You can use a Ziploc bag as well, add some chocolate in there, make a small hole on the back and then just resolve this like that. I think this looks cuter and it looks neater and you can pretty much place the chocolate wherever you want to have chocolate. I'm using this tip lines piping bags because I have them. I actually made a review on them if you want to check it out. And this is what I did with the strawberries that were all covered in chocolate. I just removed them before my chocolate settled because once it settles, all those things in the edge are going to like dry with the whole heart and just have an eater heart. I think strawberries and chocolate, and if you like nuts, it's a perfect combo. They never fail. All the arrow parts, you can make them before time and then you can make the strawberries just the same day. It's pretty easy. You are not going to be like in the kitchen for a long time. It took me about, I'll say 15 minutes. And then I just have to wait for the chocolate to dry, which is not a long time. Super cool. I think it looks super cute. Let me know your thoughts. This is going to be actually my last Valentine's video for this year. Happy Valentine's. Either if you celebrate it, if you're not, I send you love. And remember, Valentine's Day is not about having a boyfriend, girlfriend, a Valentine's, whatever. It's about enjoying the day with the people you love and not about spending a lot. Maybe you can make this for your family and friends or for yourself because why not? But yeah, if you like this idea, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more stuff, and turn out the notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye, guys.